So what I wanted to talk about was this boxing match that happened, I believe, three days ago between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. And in my previous take of this video, I almost said Mayweather versus Pacquiao, but that was two years ago. It was interesting because that was a dream match between two well-esteemed guys in their weight division finally getting to scrap up after years of discussion and it almost happening and then not happening because of disagreements and money stuff. But now, this is a meme match. It is a match between two people of the different sports deciding to scrap up with their hands. And it reminded me a lot of not just the concept, but the people involved. It reminded me a lot of Muhammad Ali versus Antonio Inoki, that strong style Japanese wrestler. Except, I think this one's a little more real. Not too real. You can never be sure with these kinds of sports. But, I'm glad I didn't get a chance to pay for this. And I wouldn't have anyway, but a homie of mine decided to stream it on Facebook. And I'm sure he gave them their money's worth. They made mad bread out of this. But it got me thinking of a lot of things, because a lot of people really did fall for the Mayweather meme. And there is this hope every time Mayweather gets into a fight that this will be the time where his winning streak comes to an end. A lot of it is that people don't really like his money team attitude. The people who do like him like him because of that. But I'm also noticing that this fight was one that had a racial component to it. Because Gregor was an Irishman white boy do they still count as not being white or have we gone past that regardless there is that there's also the fact that Mayweather in contrast is a base black guy maggots here with the red Trump hat down with his homie Donald Trump and Gregor can't stand Donald Trump he keeps saying fuck Trump so we got fuck Trump and fuck the Mayweather's Conor McGregor here. And this is a nice little contrast going on. Where some people might question which one of these guys is our guy. I for one haven't fallen for the Trump meme since I've disavowed him many moons ago, but seeing all these conflicts arise again, and seeing the aftermath and the money morning quarterback saying, you see, we should have expected this to happen, and people preemptively stating all the excuses that were going to be thrown for Conor McGregor, but one thing a lot of people have voice as a criticism is the closing of the match because McGregor got a TKO defeat in round 11 and yes he was getting punched a lot it was obvious that he was tired he was wobbling he was sort of anchoring himself to the ropes the ring ropes and McGregor was hitting him with some cold pieces, some really good punches. And this was after a very long, very defensive match, but it's kind of voice one thing. I'm not really surprised why boxing is dying. Because, me honestly, I can't stand sports like this. Matter of fact, I can't stand this type of 
fighting. Like, I like it in World Star, but in World Star, it's not like this at all. Like, street fighting, I'm okay with, but this kind of shit, I don't really like it. I don't really like defending yourself or any kind of sport with combat where you're punching and shit. Or even somewhere you're using weapons and it's really defensive like this. What I don't like about things like boxing, fencing, sword fighting, these kinds of sports is that you can't really go in aggressively. You gotta be defensive. You gotta wait for an opening, wait for the right type of opening, and really go with the type of punches that you're good at. There's a reason why certain guys have signature punches, because when they're in this fast thinking type of situation and they're in the peak of their bodies, opponent is in the peak of their body, they don't really have time to think too many times. They're really fighting against someone who's not going to budge an inch, not going to expend too much energy. And they gotta really exploit whatever mistakes they can find with the kind of punch that they know they can execute. And that sounds really cool. But I just don't like it. I can see why people have shifted more towards MMA, where it's these different types of fighting styles. And these matches can really be like five seconds. Like I remember when I was 16, I thought, man, MMA is stupid. I'm looking at this match and it ended after five seconds. It's supposed to be like an expensive pay-per-view event. That's dumb. But still... Better than 12 rounds of people really playing what could arguably be a game of chess, where, not, not even chess, that's kind of an insult to chess, I feel there's a lot more to chess than that. It's more like a real-time rock, paper, scissors, where... You could get fucked up just by picking a hand too quickly. And I don't like that, and I see why this is sort of dying out. It's not good for this ADHD motherfuckers. Like, I remember I watch a lot of shonen anime. In shonen anime, the fights are not like this at all. You can tell whoever makes these kinds of anime, they don't know how actual fighting and melee combat works. Where melee combat, you're in a permanent stalemate against another person, and vice versa. It's kind of how a stalemate works. Whereas with that, it's like, yo, let's just power up. I'm going to just wail on you. You're going to just beat on me. We're just going to see all this high-octane shit. This, I really can't be down with it. And really following anything related to Mayweather isn't very interesting to me because I just came off of wrestling two years ago, and a big thing was the streak, an Undertaker's streak. Uh, everybody was... Sort of using that as a talking point, and when it finally ended, nothing much really came out of that. And same thing with Mayweather. Let's say Mayweather finally takes an L. Then what is left for boxing? This guy has retired 500 times in this business, and he keeps coming back for these meany ass matches. And most of the people talking about this are like me. I don't know shit about boxing. I don't particularly care for it. And while it's not as bad as, let's say, football, where people pop in for the Super Bowl, 
and that's incredibly worse. Like that's probably the worst team sport out there. The only team sport I really like is basketball, but that one is just straight awful. But at least here it's a one on one sport. It's people throwing hands. We can understand it on an intuitive level. I've been punched before. You've been punched before. And we've thrown punches before. So it's a very natural thing for a human being to use something as hard as a knuckle to hurt another person. But that's like, man, we should just let this sport die already. But Mayweather leave with his 50 and 0 undefeated record. I don't even mind that he's arrogant. I don't even mind all these things on his character, racial aspect. At some point, this has to be a dead talking point. And this is going to be a dead talking point. This has been your boy, Mr. Walker 7 and suck my dick.